Good day. Welcome to another edition of our online class. Today we want to talk about levels and steps in electric fencing. I've noticed most installers, they always have issues when it comes to steps and levels. Now we're talking about steps and levels in electric fencing. What are we talking about? Take for example, you have maybe something like this. This is the fence. This is a fence. I have this level here. Maybe like that. I get here. The topography, it's not uh, plain. It's a slopey area. So most of the fence, they tend to have this kind of levels and steps. Right. So most times, most installers, when they're installing these, they have some challenges pegging their posts and even making their final connections on this very kind of terrain. Now, I want to correct this. I want us to understand because the majority of these things you see, after they've done it wrongly, the looping automatically becomes wrong because what they do is what I'll be explaining here. All right. You see, um, this is what you see, some of them. Okay, let's assume I have a bracket here and there's a bracket here. Let's say it's a one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the last line. Then they come to this other side, and they have maybe they have a pull a bracket here. All right, uh, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's see, we have uh, this line going through. Let's see, we have the last bracket here, for example. All right, two, three, Four, five, and six. Then we have our intermediate bracket. Let's see, let's assume we have one intermediate bracket here, all right? And we have another intermediate bracket here, all right? Okay, now these people. They want to link up this top section with this bottom section. One thing I will always uh, tell you, this is what we see most times. Some of them can just come like this. They take this from here. Take the line 1 to this. Line 2. Line 3. Sorry, I missed that. Line four, line five, sometimes you take this to line six. Whenever I see this kind of looping, anywhere you see this kind of looping, I'll tell you for free that it is totally wrong. When I say it is wrong, what am I talking about? You can imagine, um, let's assume these are live, earth, live, live, earth, live, which is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Same here, live, earth, live, live, earth, live. That's a six line configuration. Let's assume um, we have our energizer feeding this guy from here. Let's assume, all right, we have, okay, maybe the energizer is here. Okay. These are, these are earth. Let me indicate the earth with an E. E return, E out. And I indicate the life with an L. This is the life L out. That's life out. Or let's let's sorry, life return. And these are life out. 
Okay. If I take this maybe out to this first line, then our return comes, let's say it's going to this other terminal. Let's end the fence here. Let's just end it. Let's assume this part that they are not part of the fence we're talking about for this explanation. All right. Okay, let's assume we're having to loop this, uh, let's say, life to life here. And this one returns all the way because you see it gets here. Let's take this line to this. And this one comes to the next life. Return all the way, gets here to the last life. And this all the way because it's here, takes all the way back to the energizer. Then let's have our head just coming to the head. We loop our head like usual, right? Okay. You may want to draw a line for this, the action of the movement of the current. Let's assume this is this is the out, so it means current is flowing this way, gets here, then all the way through this line, through this line. Is that it? Yes. It moves all the way. Gets here. All right. By the time it gets to this point, since this has been terminated here and this is coming here, it means the side tennis voltage goes here and also comes this way. Hmm? Good. So this one continues. This is where I have issues, this place, this point. But let's just finish up uh, current movement. All right. It gets here, it goes this direction, and it also goes this direction. All right. It's returning, it gets here. Okay, from here, it's going down, returning, it's going back, and it's back to this point. Okay, let's explain why we are saying this is wrong. Now, you're having a, okay, when this thing go here, it means it's already voltage coming this way. If you notice most times, when these brackets, they fix, there's a space, there's always a gap here. So it means, because of the gap we're having here, there's high tendency. If I cut this off, all this area, clear here, maybe if I come like an intruder, I come here, I just cut this line out. Hmm? I cut this line out. This is still showing that my current flow is still returning to the energizer. I come here, I remove this one, cut here out also. I cut it out from this same pole, right? And I come here, I cut this one. Hmm? I cut this. Do you know, cutting all this, all this, opening up the space would have no effect on this energizer to even trigger the alarm. That is where I have issues with. And I feel we just have to correct this error. So by the time, if you sense this guy, the out, the out is taking it out all the way, gets here, he's still having a complete circuit, right? Like this, is still continuing. It continues all the way and it returns back to this energizer. The earth is just sitting there. Everything, this, this fence senses, senses this whole thing are still working perfectly. That is why you must avoid this. This kind of, this, always avoid it. Always avoid it. For no reason must you have this kind of, they just draw it all the way and they hit the next bracket. So you go back to your fence. If you're having this in your house, already when I'm coming to your house and I get and I see this, I know your fence is not well looped. And if I want to breach the security here, it is nothing. So these are things you need to revisit and sort them out ASAP. So any fence that is done this way, automatically you know it 
hasn't been well looked. It has not been well looked. There's nothing, anybody, there's no science behind it. If you would try to say, okay, you want to break it with a spring here, then how do you pick up this one, continue to continue from here? So these are the things that we must understand. So when your fence, you have this cable drawn from the top, from the top of the step, and it's dropping down the other way, and you're having this, this uh, stuff all the way to this bracket, not to this one. I'm going to show the sample of the, of the right connection for this. Okay, then you know it is wrong. Let's go back to, should I say we do sample B? Although, can I make another one down? Okay, let's see. Let's make something else here. Okay, this is A. And let me have fence number B. Let's say we have, um, um, okay, we had something like this. A step and all the way down, good. Okay, we have, let me just clear this, you understand that? This is where the fence ends, okay. We have a bracket one, line one, line two, three, four, five, six. Right, so we're having a bracket here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Life, earth, life, life, earth, life. Then we have this other part here. Let's see, we have one. Let's have a two. Three, four, five, six. All right. These are one, two, three, four, five, six. Alive, earth, life, life, earth, and life. Let's, have, let's just have maybe one intermediate bracket here and I would love to have to but let's just for space constraints for this drawing for the both purpose. Alright, now assume we have our energizer here. Well, like I said, we represent our earth with um, our earth out Let's say this is an earth return. The earth return will be E red return. The life out, this is, is sorry, earth out. So this is our earth return, earth out, all right? This is loop. We have a uh, uh, live return and a live out, all right? Okay, we want to connect this fence and link. There's a step here. I'll be showing you a video just to show you how we make uh, just pegging our post for steps. How you see those steps, you don't uh, You must make sure this very last bracket is closer to where you have the step. It shouldn't be too far where you come here and create that space. Yeah, no. Please make sure your bracket is always at the edge of the step where it's dropped down. It should just be somewhere there. This place is where nobody can easily access here. Nobody can go through this place. All right. So now, let's say our out come this way, hit this line, right? Okay. It gets here. Now, there's one thing I always do while looping. I always make sure I go with one line first. If it's a life out, I finish, I treat that life out Totally, so it's easier for you to understand when you're doing that. So maybe you you making configuration for your fence, and you're going with your your cables, your your life uh, out, for example. You can as well work with one. That is the easiest. But if you're a professional, there are ways you can do it and open up open up a particular section to link up with this other one. I'll show you a sample. Okay, let me show you um, this that might be easier for you. So what you need to do, treat this part section first before dealing with this part. 
and I'll tell you how you link, need to connect this part. So when you get here, just assume when this one gets here, take this to the next life, which is the number four. And number four, all the way comes here, turns here, and this one all the way returns to number one. Okay, one comes back to the return. So you're wondering how we're gonna connect this. What I do most times is I might need to go straight, but for your purpose of you getting grabbing it easily, all you need to do is to come here. There's already a loop here. Break, remove this loop totally. Take whatever you use to link it up, open it up. All right. So it means before now we're having this one here. Let's assume. So it means this is going like this, and it's returning like this. Go like this, and when it gets here, it's freely returning to this other side. Just come here. Make sure you're done with this side. Treat this one as a separate entity. Come here, open this up, all right? Take one of this with a HT cable, an insulated cable. You can take this one down to feed this guy. So even with the insulated cable, you can touch the wall here. It doesn't have any issue, right? So you can take this and feed the last line. So let this man let this one continue all the way. Life, life comes to the next life. This one hits the next life. It turns this way, and this one hits this. It's returning this way. And when this one gets here, it comes either with the HD cable and returns to this. You see. Is returning this arrow is returning back to this so making it a complete entity all you need to do is just to take your head your head to your normal head with your HD cable still so I've been able to successfully this level of step we're talking about I've been able to treat this whole thing just to make sure I don't create any porous point where my security can be breached unlike this this is B this is a uh, uh, diagram B, this is diagram A. So from this explanation, you see that this is actually the best way of sorting out your levels and your steps in electric fencing. So at the end of the day, you have this for everything. There is none of this line you can think of. You want to open one part where this, this alarm, the alarm on the link to this energizer will not go off. So it is understood that the best way for you to treat your step is treating it this way like i just explained finish up this as an entity the top section then you can come there not this one they take this and they draw the line you see the aluminum the aluminum they just draw it all from the top to the bottom somebody say i'm trying to cover no this place is already an edge there's no way they can scale this thing from this with this one what you have here but this because this this has been uh has been this one has been compromised there's high tendency you have the space here where anyone can come, come to this line, and there's space here. You go in from here, you don't have problem coming in from here. So this is the best practice. This is the best practice you must, you must uh, carry out. So whenever you're having your fence and you're trying to link it up, just take a look at the diagram. This is all you need to do for steps. Make sure your poles, they are close to the, to the extreme. Don't take it too far from the edge, all right? So by the time this is done, it means you're having a perfect kind of looping for your steps and your levels. I hope this video meets you well and you get value from this. Till we meet again in our next class. Do have a lovely week. Bye for now.